Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Head it, head it, Jinsu. Oh, lamp oil, bombs. It's yours, my friend. As long as you have shinobi prosthetic. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Mayhem. I'm Jinsu. And today we're playing another episode of Jeez. Sekiro, and we just saved our lord, the Dragonair. Let us go. We must leave Ashina. Wolf, my blood. Wait, we have Dragonair, and he's the wolf. Dragonite. And the same goes for you. Nintendo. <laughs> I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. Where's Dratini? He's right here. <laughs> That's the Dragonair, you mother. Dragon rot. The dragon rot. They all corrupt men to the so he listed three different no ways of resurrection. Yeah. I hmm. wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Do you want to... Do you want, ooh! Do we so help yeah. Kuro or do we obey the Iron Code and protect Kuro? Because going out there, I'm pretty sure means... Kuro, so Kuro asked us to help him sever um, sever immortality, basically. To just end the immortality. Um, and there's ways to find out. There was, there's ways to do that. Or we could obey the iron code that our father laid out for us and just simply protect him. And we would lie to him and be like, yeah, totally. I'll, I'll totally help you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So we are going Which to end immortality. Which one goes to the true ending? We're going to end immortality. The iron code. I cannot break the iron code. Is this a game with multiple endings? Father, I it's yeah. Okay. Wait, can we not? Or do you have to do it multiple times? Father, I can. I cannot to protect you, the divine. Heir. Wait, what? That was the duty what happened? Father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life from This is interesting. Three times, or perhaps. <laughs> 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 Definitely that one. The purpose of defending my wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath wolf join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality as you wish thank you loyal wolf so it's a trick that, was, that wasn't a choice right there but he he does agree that, yeah that was actually very interesting does like it, does this game have multiple endings yes okay there are three endings like okay. like bloodborne like bloodborne we aim it for the true ending Yes, but right. I gotta figure out how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we probably already fucked it up. <laughs> do you want yeah. me to? Do you want me to look it up? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, You'll probably I look it up later. To... But um, but uh, Duke, in every From Software game, there was usually Multiple three endings. three endings. Okay. There's the bad ending, the good, the good ending, ending, and, and the, then true the true ending. ending. The good ending is usually just the you didn't do anything specific you just played the game good ending is least fucked up <laughs> yeah good or like, ending is still kind of fucked up but it's not as fucked up yeah, yeah. that's why i'm saying least <laughs> and the true ending is usually like the one that they say is like the actual like story ending like if they if there was ever like a sequel to are these endings confirmed by from software to be true no they've they've they, it's just often referred it's to just fan assumption of what's good true and bad well, the, the it's usually assumed that the true ending the one that is the hardest to get and the most uh, effort to put in is usually like why would they put so much effort into it, this one being this like so difficult it's also the longest route yeah. of the game too the so game the game's extended the most, the most okay. through, through the true yeah so that is usually why it's usually referred to as the true ending yeah. and because like the more you experience the game, obviously that seems they made it for a reason. Okay. And that is why Elden Ring has six endings. <laughs> but here's the thing: they're technically some dung eater. There's technically three endings. There's a, the bad ending. So Loathsome Dung Eater is the true the, ending. The, the three the different endings. The name of the different endings is the Severance ending. The Ashura ending and the Divine Era ending. Yeah, I'm gonna guess Divine Era is the, the Divine. True? The Divine Era ending is the true ending, or is the like the best ending? The best ending. The ending yeah. with the least amount of messed up. Severance shit. is bad ending. Severance is the okay ending. 
Oh. The, you could have fucked it up, but you didn't. Yeah. And what was the other one? Ashura. Ashura. I'm guessing. So that's the bad ending. Well, actually, it's not Ashura. It's just Shura. Shura. Shura okay. is a. Uh, Shura. Shura is a demon of hatred in Buddhist. Uh, I can make a guess that that's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, to explain the Shura ending, you basically get so bloodthirsty that you just kill everyone indiscriminately. Yep. Bring war and tear everything. No, up. like despite the war, ha- the war is gonna happen regardless. But <laughs> you, you yeah, so just the bad ending called uh, Satan's feces ending, huh? Yeah, it's like basically the the accrued karma of killing everybody and uh, and like just just killing everyone. It, the Ooh. the karma of all of that turns you into a demon hatred, and mm. then you can't stop. You you just you just can't stop killing people. Right. Feed that beast; it will always be hungry. Yeah. Um. But the but the funny thing, Duke, is that the reason why like Elden Ring technically only has three endings is because there's the there's the true ending, the bad ending, and then all of the other ones are technically combined into just you just kind of kept neutral. things as they are. Neutral. It's like it's like the Undertale neutral ending. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny. Don't eat it. But you just do an extra flavor of the ending, basically. It's just like a different version of it. It's like, um, you know how you can take, like, a spaghetti noodle and, like, cut it up even further, but it's still connected all into one noodle? Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird, weird analogy, I know. But it's we a just weird ate... analogy that I don't see it track too well, but I see it. We just ate spaghetti. <laughs> we ate penne. Close enough. Pasta. 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 Spaghetti. Pasta. Spaghetti is thin and long. Penne is a tube. But where are we going now, Jinzu? Where are we going now? Now, we can talk to someone. What? Would you ever want to make fresh pasta? I don't have that machine. I, <laughs> I didn't say, can you right now, motherfucker? My hands are not full of pasta yet. <laughs> motherfucker, watch this. I p- squeeze my I mean, hand and pasta we're not starts talk pouring to someone right now. Wait, is, wait, where is he? Is he here? Where is he at? Did we fuck up? No. Did we not do something? Mayhem. Yeah. Something I'm forgetting to do. <laughs> I, I just go weak, squeeze my hand, and pasta starts pouring out. Maybe go to where we saw the Tengu guy? Oh, actually, I haven't gone there in a while. E. <laughs> Because a lot of front software games, the, if you don't go back to where someone was, even though the game says, like in the guide, it says that someone moved. Go here, talk to this guy. He's not here. Why? Because he didn't talk to him 12 hours ago uh, about pasta. Yeah. But but sometimes, literally, the quest step is go to where you saw him last. He's not there. Now he's in the new spot. Hello. Oh, he's still here. What's up? <laughs> hey, hey, okay. just skip in. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue that we've already had with him. Okay. I opened this door. Old woman. No How are you doing, Uroku Daki? Cred. Do you want me to look it up? No, I know where to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh. a, it's a from software game. I, I'm pretty sure the best thing to do is when you're unsure, just look it up. <laughs> But what are we doing? Where are we going, Jizu? Where are we going? What is it? Is it the place that we were not supposed to be at yet? No. No, it's a couple areas after this, I think. Oh, ma'am. Now I'm realizing uh, you've now met in two different anime, Tango Mask Men. Yes. Which one do you like better? This guy. Shiftry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, Jiraiya is also... Kind of a Tango Man, but not really. But he's, he's not, he's not wearing a mask. He just wears a Tango mask. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. I like this Uroku guy. Daki in Demon Slayer wears the mask, and the uh, Tango mask in One Piece, who took care of uh, Tama. This guy. <laughs> this Tango guy. He beats him out because he's in a From Software, so the writing is even better. <laughs> But you just don't even know it yet because you haven't even experienced it yet. Unlike everybody else, including me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I went this way. This I I went here too early. 
Are we nearing Monkey Man? No. Jinsu, when monkey? No. <laughs> when monkey? Soon. When monkey? Soon? So. Soon monkey. No. Monkey is my favorite boss fight. <laughs> Heads will roll. Why'd you say that like Christopher Walken? <laughs> <laughs> Heads will roll. Now look at this. Look at this really awesome area that's like really dark and scary. And like, oh my god. It's really dark and scary. It gets lit up completely. <laughs> Just by existing. It's because it. I have the ninja cat eyes. You know? Good. I prefer that. I pull out a cat and tell and get to tell myself it's 2 a.m. <laughs> Do you know where your children are? Can you think of an anime? I, that... Jins, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. You gotta do it. Can you think of an anime that would make for a cool uh, Souls-like game? Just look at that. Look at that right there. It's an omen. It's not an omen. It's a. It's, it's what inspired an omen. An omen. <laughs> I think Demon Slayer would be cool. Demon Slayer would be interesting. Like, imagine, like, all the bosses are the 12 moons. Just look at this guy. Yeah, Jinzu, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Look at this guy. Bye. He's called. He's literally called the Headless. Oh, bye. I'm out. No! If he kills you, <laughs> he takes out your asshole and puts it in his asshole. It's pretty funny. And then I take this ninja door. It's, a, it's literally the same concept that we were talking about with Dung Eater. All right. Cause, you know, and now I'm yeah, somewhere do you, else. Do you think Demon Slayer would be a cool one? It would be. Uh, obviously, very inspired. Like, it would be kind of in yeah. Sekiro adjacent. There would be heavy yeah, I think, comparisons. Yeah, I think it would be heavier magic-based, though. I don't know. Well, or, like, enemies would be heavier magic-based while you are, like, essentially mimicking their style. Whoa! Mount Congo! Mount Congo! Simple temple. Like the king? Someone didn't like that. I wonder what this is. Oh my god, really? it's a this bell. Is, do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only to the only the stoutest of hearts should ever consider it. Interesting. Sorry, Duke, we're experiencing too much of the game for me yeah. to focus on, <laughs> on an answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's is cool. there something inside the bell? Sinister burden. Oh my god. Bell, bell demon. demon. A demonic spirit sealed within the iron bell of Senpo Temple possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. Oh my god. The bell confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. So that's the make the game harder. We oh. made the game harder. Can you not have that, please, for the love of God, man? Oh, no, I want money. No! <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, this seems pretty good. No! <laughs> I get more money in XP. So, here, I uh, can uh, change question of like... No, 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 no I'm thinking of it now. I've been oh, thinking about it. trying to think of an anime yeah. that would be a good... Goku! <laughs> Dragon Ball. Could you imagine Dragon Ball as like a from game? software? Game? It would not fit at all. It would but, not fit at all. But it could. If it trunks. But there'd be some cool stuff. I mean, yeah. When it comes down to it, say trunks it, and 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 the reason why you keep coming back is because time travel. Wait, 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 wait. No, imagine trunks in the original timeline, and the boss fights are like all the enemies. All the that enemies that like, that would have that everybody would have faced if, like anything. After Android 18 and 17. Can no, you no, imagine no. It, should, it should be it should be like just normal Dragon Ball, right? And then <laughs> and then it becomes um, that <laughs> Trunks 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 could be like DLC or like fucking Trunks is like and you play as Trunks. You go through you go through Trunks' trials and tribulations. Yeah. Is the fact that you can come up with something kind of cool because uh, I was gonna say like oh that wouldn't fit for Dragon Ball, but mind you. A lot of stuff can surprisingly fit for Dragon Ball. I mean, they have a basically Dead by Daylight game with Dragon Ball Breakers. Breakers, yeah. And, and sky's the limit. You just the only it's thing Dragon Ball. the only thing that that can stop an idea is yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so I got another one of I'm gonna name an anime and I want you to tell me what would be the perfect kind of game for that gotcha. uh, for that franchise. I'm gonna find the exact opposite. Okay. In other words, Jinzu, I require a true answer from you. He's gonna find the exact opposite. <laughs> uh, One Piece. Racing. <laughs> racing. Actually, wouldn't it be bad when you think about it? Boat racing. Imagine a boat racing game. Oh, now we're here. Now we go here. I still say my yeah. favorite would be a uh, like uh, one of those um, RPGs. Where you can make your own custom character. Like, mine, mine, no me! Imagine an open-world <laughs> RPG of One Piece. 
where the like this would be after the show comes out or if the show's like completely out when we have everything and yeah. it's like a post sort of thing in the in the world as it, as if Lu, like in Luffy's pirate era as king of the pirates bunch of different custom islands all like made and like the entire point is you get to have your own one piece journey yeah you could even make an MMO by like including other like uh, you could have other people playing imagine imagine a wait whoa, whoa, what's this Who's talking to me? Who's talking? <laughs> Imagine literally. Oh. That's a statement. Abandoning their Buddhist, like, lifestyles in pursuit of immortality. Goddamn. Yeah, they're bastards. That is... I was not expecting to hear that. Goddamn. <laughs> like, I know we're, like, we're in technically, like, Japan and, like, Shinto and all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Who is talking to us? We need... we'll, meet, we'll meet her. Oh. Is she hot? Hear me out. He is <laughs> too young to consider. Damn it! I do, was not hearing the voice. <laughs> Please cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I got another one. Imagine a Naruto game based on the Third Great Shinobi War. That would be. So you get to see Kakashi's dad. You get to see uh, uh, the the fourth, uh, the fourth Okage. You get to see uh, gra uh, that granny from the Sand Village. You get to see the... The worlds before... Jiraiya, uh, Tsunade, and Orochimaru doing their shit. And you get to make your own ninja. Ah, hey. And is. choose which village you want to represent. Man, you you have a, you want to make a lot of your own guys. What the fuck are you doing that for, man? I love is it, did you characters. Did you play Z Dragon Ball Xenoverse or something? How did you know? <laughs> I played both. <laughs> It's I played a, both Xenoverses. It's a good idea for a game, like literally, like for a series. I, I like Xenoverse. I know a lot of people hate it, but I like it. It's a fun game. But like the concept of like making your own character that's just Why in. Why am I not moving forward? <laughs> the fence, the small fence, that was stopping you. I I find it funny that like I feel like any game I look at, my immediate thought is, man, how cool would it be if for like a like RPG MMO kind of thing? Yeah. So imagining Naruto with an RPG would be awesome, where it's the third great shinobi war. Racing uh, game. <laughs> imagining One Piece, where it's your own journey across the Grand Line. Imagining Bleach, where it's like maybe a, another war between Quincy's and humans. And the, There's the, a lot of bugs the here. The Shinigami. A lot of bugs, Jinzu. Yeah. I wonder what's wrong with this guy. Hi, sir. Gourd seed. Hey, thanks for the gourd seed. You guys My... missed it. There's something under his pants. <laughs> ew. It's ew. Shit. It's shit. It's Lump not of fat shit. wax. It is not shit. It's poo poo. It is much worse. <laughs> We're about to experience what made these Buddhists completely resent their religion. Ooh. It's his balls. He cut them off. Oh my god, look at the little paper fans on the tree. Aww. Oh. They threw a cockroach at me. <laughs> My hero would make a great RPG. Yeah. Like setting up your own quirk and stuff like that. Because that's usually like the best way to make a series is have a thing that if someone makes their own version of it, they can make their own. They can make themselves in it. My hero tabletop role playing game would be fantastic. That's why Star Wars is so great, because you can literally just make anything in Star Wars. Yeah, and it's awesome. And people are going to be like, I've got my own story. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's why it's just like, it's more of just like games from animes, like which ones are just like, like RPG is just the default answer. <laughs> yeah. 
But he, yeah, when it comes down to it, because it's the coolest one, and yet sadly I'm upset because they never go for it. When it's it because it's because yeah, any time they never go for it. instead they go for all the fighting games. Yeah, because fi- that's a lot easier and more like recognizable characters can be used for selling points. Fighting games are really cool. Like that's the problem I have of just like I could complain of just like ah, oh, but I want an RPG. Yes. But at the same time, I fucking love anime fighting games. I fucking love them, dude. Like, uh, the My Hero one, that was fun. The Jujutsu Kaisen one. I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a... Ah, that's what we gotta do. They gotta look at the thing. Take a look. The Bleach one is looking great. Uh, Sparking Zero is looking great. I can't wait for Sparking Zero. Did <laughs> you broke it? <laughs> I would love if that was the thing he was referring to and he just broke it. <laughs> oh, fuck. His name was Lord, Lord Takeru. Takeru. His incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died. Where could he be now? I returned to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead. Is the key to reaching the divine realm. That is my belief, Wolf. Interesting. The truth together. Cool. Okay. Like th- this is literally like when the game starts getting weird. This is this is yeah. when it starts getting weird, and I've literally never experienced it, and I haven't looked up any Vati videos not about it. <laughs> He's Evangelion. Not. Okay. You gotta reload the area. Reload the area. Oh, Evangelion right, right. as a horror game. Evangelion is like a. Yeah, pre, Resident pre, Evil, pre, like pre the, the the angels attacking. Oh, like what was the world like beforehand? No, 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 no. Imagine like a completely different, like separate thing, but you're being pursued by the Ava that's going rogue. And you're, and it'd it's like it's like a nemesis. To, like it'd be interesting if they kind of pulled a minus one Godzilla with it. Of show you the true terror of it of a fucking kaiju coming for you. Yeah. Damn it, oh. he's still not here. Okay. Like, that's kind of what it would be like if it's, like, the whole setup would be, um, like, the, you're trying to hide away from the angels. I <laughs> I, I don't want to be too hard on the creator of Evangelion, but I just, I just, I really feel like someone else needs to, to take the characters and the story of it and just give it another go. Did you read the news? What? Is that what's happening? Yes. That's what's happening? Oh, thank God. Yeah, he passed the reins. <laughs> oh, thank like, God. Like, literally exactly what you asked for. And is he just redoing it and just making a new Neo Genesis? I don't think he's going to continue the story. Just restart it. Yeah. Like, no. Look. No. Continue. No. Basically, okay, once again, you got to watch. <laughs> you got to make sure that you've watched every little bit of Evangelion to get a good grasp of it. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> that's make funny. sure you've watched the movies, stuff like that. Have you watched all the movies? I've tried. Apparently, there's one I missed that isn't even in the, like, Netflix collection. Yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Try to find that one. Uh, but once you're done with that, uh, understand that the idea is that there's a possibility that the story could come back with more uh, world building. Well, it's not so much that. It's just that whole ending part just needs to be... Oh, oh my god, Jutsu. Jesus. I thought I died. I was going to be so mad. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's but see. It, it, Chainsaw it's, Man. What would be a good game? Chainsaw Man would Chainsaw be an Man, amazing from think, software Souls, born game. Either that, or it would be a really good. Uh, it would either be that or a really good um, hack and slash. I yeah. was gonna say hack and slash, like dude, it'd be. Whoa! It's a whole ass dude in armor. Armor oh. warrior. That's a that's full on European armor. Yeah. And he's got a. Great sword. Great sword. Like I didn't want to. Like I was about to say Claymore, but I was looking at the, at the, <laughs> at the guard, and I was just like, I don't see the three things. It's not Claymore. Wait, what the fuck is up with him? Ew. I don't know, but I'm not doing any damage at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh, this huh. is really cool. I was not expecting European dude. There's a lot of elements of chase on that. I was not expecting yeah. European dude at the Buddhist temple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta see what- I am a monk! And he doesn't even have a, um, a life orb, so... Like, he's gonna be a one and done? Ooh! There you go. 
I fucked it up, maybe? Oh, but he still I, has I an Odin mask. I fucked it up, I fucked it up. You're supposed to knock him off. I do no damage. Ugh. Oh! Damn, that comboed. <laughs> oh, I was so close. I was almost so close to one and done him. Okay. You're supposed to knock him off, and he just so happened to hit the post. Yeah, that can happen. Ugh. Why is he fighting like Artorius? Oh, 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 bye bye. No, wait. Oh, <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's the, 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 the. Why does he scream, Robert? Oh, yeah, let me show you why he screams, Robert. The most European name Robert. ever. Robert. 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 The Shinobi Firecracker. Unleash an explosive. Wait, no, look at the. A prosthetic look. tool fitted with Robert's firecrackers. Robert. Interesting. Shadow. A limit skill that recovers posture upon performing a successful death blow. Woo! I, I just imagined just Chainsaw Man as, like, in terms of what game it would look like, I just imagined, like, Bloodborne. Yeah. That fits. I imagine it would it would definitely. But it'd just be Tokyo. Like uh, yeah. the one image in, in my mind is remember that scene where it was like the thing coming out of the moon, like leaking out of the moon in Bloodborne. Hey. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> there was nothing to do with the moon in Chainsaw Man. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, not anything to do with Chainsaw Man. No, uh, I'm just mentioning that. Mm. But the imagery. Some like monstrous, just ugly looking creature that like that. I imagine the future devil. Or no, not future. What was it? Uh, eternity. Eternity. Okay, now he's there. Maybe. Imagine maybe, the Eternity maybe, Devil maybe, is essentially maybe. that. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these. Uh, now he's here. Be interesting. Now? Yeah. Aww. Oh, what? Where's my grandpa at? <laughs> a future devil that like predicts your moves. He <laughs> just input reads. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Just input reads. <laughs> yeah. That'd be interesting. Where the fuck is... Why, why did Nino show up? And then, like, uh, the big, like, uh, human-sized bosses... Oh, sorry. In addition, might we also look into how we might sever... A fine suggestion. Talk oh, now I can talk to him. Now talk to Ishin. Exhaust dialogue. Come with me. I didn't finish my dialogue. I didn't finish exhausting my dialogue. I literally <laughs> yeah. talked to him, did part of the level, went back, talked to him, went back to the level, went back, and now I can talk to fucking Ishin. There you <laughs> go! But uh, where I just imagine uh, in this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. One of these watchtowers. The path to his watchtower is closed. His if he if he's there without reloading the game, uh, like reloading the area, that's gonna be so funny. It's intended for shinobi, but I've heard the nightjar use smoke signals. Yes. If you follow their smoke signals. You should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. Cool. Yeah, I've been there like three times. He's not there. I don't know. I seven fucking times. Oh my god. Uh, what I was gonna say was basically the different weapon devils, as essentially um, the Shinobi uh, prosthetics. Like, well, uh, <gasps> no, I'm saying. Oh my god, he's literally there. <laughs> Imagine them as like the human-sized bosses. Yeah. Hello, Ishin. About the divine heir's life. It's like the Katana yeah. Man. Yeah. There's something I wish to ask. Before that, suck it. What? <laughs> Take it. Man, he's got a very so similar funny. sort of demeanor. Nichiro was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed mm -hmm. the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. You're the son of Title of the episode, Where the Hell is Ishin? The Owl. Yes. Oh, he just he just outright knows you. <laughs> the bond of the tie us I just heard that. Don't you think? Sekiro. Oh. Ah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Huh? There, he, he called you Sekiro. Wait, Why would there's only Sekiro? one person that named us. The Tengu. The Tengu the Man. And now Ishin Ashina knows our name. Wow. He's the he's the emperor, right? Wow. No. Or he's the lord of this castle? No. Wow. His name is Ashina. Wow. 
So he's the leader of the Ashina clan. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he's Madara Uchiha. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, now you understand. <laughs> now it makes sense to Duke. <laughs> yeah, you said I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Where's the meteors? Hmm. If you're a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Ooh. That'd be scary as fuck in the middle of playing a game. Wake up to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. What do you mean? I am not certain. Oh, best voice actors. It's just here, sir. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Not anymore. What those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. So the Buddhists have it. The Buddhists have the have the mortal kill you blade. blade. Yeah, the one hundred percent kill you blade. <laughs> Give drink. Give him alcohol. Here you go. Yeah. Let the old man drink. <laughs> it's funny because his his cadence. He's like, "Are you? Uh, could you guys get here?" He's like, "Are you offering the socket that I gave you?" <laughs> Fuck it. You do cross blades. Put it simply, he was strong, and he had. I see. What exactly is the lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that. Oh, that. <laughs> mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor. Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the Ooh. sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths Ooh. of the ocean. I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the Now is she hot, Jinzu? <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving, Seku. Severin. No. <laughs> that will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away and lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate. Hesitation means death. And with that badass note, <laughs> aww, on that terrible disappointment with Jinzu ending the episode, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more and we'll catch you. See ya. <laughs> I looked up Madara's voice actor, and he's done a lot of crazy do shit. Do not hit a quick aim. You did not. No, no, don't do that. What do you mean do not hit quick aim? Do, do, don't do that. Does it, does it have exit save? He was Hawkmon.